After you've gotten the three throws down pretty cleanly with your three ball pattern, I want you to just try and keep going. So all you're gonna do is think about the throws. You want each throw to be as clean as possible. And you're gonna try and catch them obviously as well. You should think about the throw. So the pattern should look something like this. At first, yours probably won't look quite this clean. A lot of the common problems that happen are people will throw forward or the throws will be too high or a little confused maybe. Um, Let's try and diagnose some of the common problems and how you might go about fixing them. One of the first things that people do is they tend to throw forward. Maybe their wrists are a little limp or the ball rolls off the end of your fingers. Um, there are a lot of different ways that people mess up. One of my favorite ways to teach people to learn how to stop throwing forward. As you start throwing forward, you start walking forward, everything goes into disarray. What you want to have happen is uh, you want them just to go straight up and down. What you can do is you can stand right up against the wall have a wall right here and juggle like this so you can't walk forward. Um, you gotta make sure you don't bounce them off the wall or something like that, but just train yourself so that the balls don't go forward and you wanna really think about each throw being as clean as possible so that the catches work out and so that you can set yourself up for the next throw.